when we talk about trying to find out early about breast cancer, there are two most important things. One is what you can do in the privacy of your house with your own hands, which is self breast examination. That is very important because it allows you to pick up changes early that then bring you to a doctor. However, from the age of 40 onwards, we recommend that over and above the regular clinical breast examination that you are doing once a month yourself, you should also get a doctor to examine you once a year. And from the age of 40 onwards, discuss with your doctor how often you should have mammograms. Generally, we recommend them anywhere between one to two years gap for doing what is called screening mammogram. The word screening means that you come and get your tests done when you are apparently healthy, which means you do not have a problem, but we still want you to have a mammogram. And the reason for that is that we can pick up cancers as early as three to five millimeters in size, which is the size of a small rice grain. And the whole idea of successful treatments for cancer is based on early detection. So screening is recommended when you don't have a problem. But obviously, if you do have a problem that you've self-detected, make sure you come for a clinical breast exam and appropriate tests. Whenever a lady has a symptom in the breast and she comes to a doctor, there is a very formalized assessment, which is called triple assessment. Triple assessment means that three things should be done in succession. The first thing is that the doctor will physically examine you. They will understand whether those changes are suspicious enough for us to take the next step. And the next step is imaging. Imaging in the form of mammogram, ultrasound, and when needed, MRI. Your doctor is the best one to tell you what test to do. A lot of times we see that women feel a lump in their breast and they will themselves walk into a clinic and ask to have a mammogram done, even when it may not be appropriate for them. So please get your doctor to tell you what is the appropriate screening test for you or imaging test for you. And the third part of the triple assessment is a needle biopsy. So if we clinically feel a lump which is looking suspicious, we will do an ultrasound mammo or an MRI to confirm that and then the final confirmation comes through needle biopsy in which we give local anesthetic, put a little needle in the lump, take a little tissue piece out and look at it under the microscope. This is the most important test that helps confirm the diagnosis and here I want to point out that a lot of people have this myth that putting a needle in the lump will cause it to spread. That is absolutely not true. If we don't put a needle in it, we will not know what the exact nature of the disease is. And then obviously we cannot treat it properly unless we know that. So this question is obviously always asked when a patient comes, whether biopsies are painful. So they are as painful as getting a blood sample taken. A little needle is put in the skin to give the local anesthetic and that 10 to 30 seconds when between the needle going into the skin and the local anesthetic acting, that is the only uncomfortable bit. After that, when the needle to do the biopsy is put in, it doesn't hurt. Yes, for women or patients who have phobia of needles, even having that local anesthetic can be scary. But remember, I always say that first of all, there is no need to be scared of anything. And if you have to be scared, be scared of the disease and not the tests, because the tests and treatment are there to make you feel better. So yes, it can be uncomfortable and that is why it is always advisable that you bring along a friend or a relative when you come for such tests for moral support. Diagnosing breast cancer, triple assessment, which is, as I mentioned, clinical checkup, imaging in the form of ultrasound, mammo or MRI and biopsy. They help us to confirm whether it is a cancer or not. Once it is confirmed that it is a cancer, we may do other tests like a PET CT scan to find out the stage of the disease. Generally, if a woman comes with very early breast cancer, we may not do a PET CT scan, but do discuss this with your doctor. Also, if there is a strong family history of breast or ovarian cancer, you may be asked to do a blood test to look for a genetic abnormality that can increase your risk of cancers. And if you are positive for that gene, then your treatment options will be altered accordingly.